and subscribe to the eyes of Owen. Owen, I love you too much. Huh? I love you long time. You will forget me. I'm just about to go out to Soy 6, but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing because I'm wearing my Eyes of Owen t shirt, which I think you can agree looks pretty sexy. Available in all the good souvenir shops. So I'm just walking up Soy Diana now. That's the entrance to Soy LK Metro there. And I'm on my way to Soy 6. Now I haven't been to Soy 6 for a long time, but I love it there. It's got an atmosphere all of its own. I'm gonna have a few drinks there and see if I can meet any nice ladies. That's the entrance to Soy LK Metro, where I went last night. So I'm just gonna jump to, onto a song tower at the top of this road and get dropped off at the top of Soy 6. So I've just jumped off the song tower and I'm now at the top of Soy 6. For those people who don't know what Soy 6 is, it's, it's basically uh, a street full of bars. And normally you have hundreds of girls sat in stools outside trying to coax you into their bar for a drink and a, and a good time. It's about three in the afternoon. I'm going to walk down the street and see what it's like. And it's been, quite a few of the bars have been open, not many girls. But I know that once you get to about the halfway point, there's a lot more bars that are open and a lot more girls available. So I'll keep walking down and see if I can see what I can find. And this is the halfway point of Soy 6 and as you can see a lot more of the bars are open. It's a lot more girls about. I'm about to get eaten alive by all these girls outside the bars so um, yeah. Let's see if I can find a, a good one to have a drink with. So I've completed my first recce of Soy 6 um, and yeah there were quite a lot of girls there. I'm now just backtracking um, along Soy 6.1 which is a bit of um, Bit of a ladyboy um, sort of hangout. I've just had um, one particularly tall ladyboy grab me, wouldn't let me go, and apparently she's got a very big pet cockerel, apparently. Uh, managed to shake her off, but anyway, I'm just backtracking up 6.1. I'll get to the top of Soy 6 again and I'll walk down and I'm going to stop off at a bar. I'm on my way home from Soy 6 now. This is the um, big mall central festival near Soy 7. And um, yeah, Soy 6. Um, I, the bars at the top are fairly quiet, but then there's like, there's like a halfway point where all of a sudden it becomes very, very busy. There's lots of um, bars, lots and lots of girls, not many customers, a bit of a target rich environment really. Um, and I, I had, one recce where I went the whole distance of the street then I backtracked 
backtracked up Soy 6.1, Ladyboy Central. Avoided um, the very firm clutches of a couple of Ladyboys up there. And then I walked back down to um, Soy 6 again and I stopped for a beer at a bar called Repent, which had a good number of girls outside. It was a very um, pretty girl with a fantastic figure. I went there and um, I didn't pick a girl. They more picked me. I just got crowded, three girls crowded around. We ended up playing lots of bar games. And it was fun, but I had a drink, played games with them, and um, I, I gave them a tip each, a small tip each, the ones who I played the games with, and then I left and moved on to another bar. So the second bar I went to, I actually learned from my mistake. So I was walking down the street, and there's a bar called Lust, and there were lots of girls outside, and some really pretty ones, actually. Um, and I saw a girl I liked, and I walked in, um, and basically indicated for her to sit with me. Um, bought her a lady drink. Um, can't remember how much it was actually. But my beer came to 95 baht for a Chang beer. And we sat talking. She hardly spoke any English. We had to talk mainly through um, an app, a translation app she had on her phone. But she was a really, really beautiful girl. And the bar had some really, really good looking girls. So I actually got chatting with a, a Welsh guy and a Geordie guy on the next table. And they, they were blown away by the quality of the girls. Some really pretty girls. And anyway, yeah, me and the girl hit it off. And um, yeah, we, we got to know each other and I, I had a good time with each other. So yeah, Soy 6. Um, yeah, I was quite, I, I was quite impressed. I mean, that it's kind of half as busy as you might normally expect. But there are still lots of girls. Lots of bars open, lots of pop music pumping, and um, and yeah, the, the the prices are good, and it's it's good fun. It's a good way to spend an afternoon, um, and I'd recommend it. Um, and like I say, the, the bar I went to, which I was most impressed with, was called Lost, which is about halfway down. A lot of really nice girls there. A good time on soy six but last night after that was actually a failure problem was i actually didn't get out of my hotel room till half eight which ordinarily in patea wouldn't be a problem you know when when the bar stay open until three or four in the morning but of course bars at the moment are closing at 11. i think i heard from march the first they'll open till 12. So yeah, I only had two hours, um, I, so I had a bit of a bit of a recce, bit of a walk round, and I started off in a, a bar called Annie Jack's, which was really busy, loads of girls, some really good, pretty girls as well, good quality. But yeah, I got chatting with a girl who was kind of a bit, a bit kind of shy really, a bit timid, and she's a nice girl, and we had a good chat. I knew I wasn't going to be at her, or a lady drink, 
and pretty standard actually throughout the whole night. 70 baht for a, a Chang beer, um, 150 baht for the lady drink. Um, then I moved on to um, LK Metro, but I found a bar on there and there was, a, there was a really pretty girl. In fact, she was the girl who she lured me into the bar. Very pretty girl, she had braces on her teeth. She was, um, she had a little bit of a Japanese kind of mannerisms about her, but she was pretty. And um, I bought her a lady drink, same prices as before. And um, I, was in, I was interested in um, her, but it turned out she said, oh, um, you come back tomorrow, um, I can't, I can't tonight. And of course, there could be any number of reasons why she can't. I think it was about half ten when I, when I saw her. So of course, time's running out now. So I, I go into Sugar Sugar. Um, I was quite impressed with the selection of girls in there the night before. And by the way, I just need to clarify that when I say I go into the go-go bars, they're not operating as go-go bars, they're just operating as a beer bar. Occasionally a few girls might stand up and dance, but it, it's a beer bar. So I went in there and, um, and the problem was is that I, I, immediately I sat down, a girl ran over and hugged up to me and said she remembered me from the night before and she really liked me and and it was it was one of those kind of awkward situations really where um, she she claimed ownership of me and I, I ended up buying her a drink and I, I knew that I wouldn't be taking her because she wasn't the type I'd go for but she was a nice girl and I bought her a drink and so then the problem was they started bringing the furniture in they closed the door it was 11 o'clock so I paid my tab and left and then I went for a walk around Tree Town and, it, and I thought some of the bars might still be open but no it was dark you know all of those um, beer bars outside with all the pink lighting they um the shutters have been pulled um like tarpaulin kind of shutters have been pulled down over them and um yeah all the bars had closed so I sort of ling lingered around and I thought well, I might you know there's a mass exodus of girls I might be able to see some nice girls but the problem is they all had masks on, so I, so I couldn't actually see their, their, their faces. So I sort of hung around for a while. Um, interestingly, none of the lady boys had masks on. And on Soy Bacal, there are lots of lady boys. None of those had masks on, but all of the girls did. And in the end, I just decided to abort mission. I, I, I just um, went back to my hotel room. And I, I was back in my hotel room at sort of just after midnight. So, so yeah, it, times are different at the moment in Pate. You've got to act a lot quicker than you used to. You know, in the past, when it, when it stays over to three or four, it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, you can take your time, but um, yeah, I think my problem was I just started the night too late. So um, I'm going to have another go tonight, go out to Tree Town, but I'm going to start a lot earlier, maybe sort of early afternoon, maybe, and see how it goes. Why you want to make me?